Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for July. This is going to cover love, wealth, and health. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. All right, my darling. So we're going to look at, we're going to break this reading up into three different parts, okay? So it's going to start out with love, wealth, and health, but we're also going to break it up into, just to make it a little bit more understandable, we're going to break it up to the beginning of July, the middle of July, and then the end of July. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going to happen with my Libra romantic love life for the month of July? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So, and also Libra, don't forget, you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these, Libra, make up who you are, so feel free to cross-watch for more information. All right, so let's take a look at the overall energy so far. We see that there is this joyful energy. It does look like, it feels to me like, there is, uh, you guys are going to go out and you're going to have a good time. And there's going to be something that's going to come out of this. Yeah, you're going to gain new perspective about somebody. And they may defend their position here, okay? Some of you guys may have more than one choice or option this month, actually. So let's take a look at the overall energy. Let's use this deck here. Have my Libra's romantic love life. There definitely is this cautious energy within you guys. I said my Libra's romantic love life for July. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so yes, somebody is trying to gain the courage, confidence, and strength to talk to you. Okay, so let's put that card there. And then there. That'll be for the, so remember, we're going to break this up into the first half of July, the middle of July, the end of July. Yeah, there's someone who's very attached to you. Yeah, we see that a lot of romantic offers may be coming in here. I feel like because you guys are hurt, you may be trying to like put barriers in place though. Yeah, trying to be patient. But definitely there is a lot of people that want your attention. Yeah, there seems like this slow walking going on towards Virgo Capricorn energy. So you're a little bit cautious here and taking it slow, but it does look like you got a lot of options coming in here. Seven of Cups energy. A lot of people that you could uh, go out with here with the Seven of Cups energy, you have quite a few choices here that you're thinking about. And you're kind of like thinking, contemplating, and analyzing. I feel like there's one particular person that you know of from the past also, which is n another reason why you're a little bit cautious here as well. I feel like you're like, all right, I want to fulfill my desires here, but I really need to take this slow and analyze this a little further. Okay, let's go further on this. It's kind of my Libra's romantic love life for the month of July. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to yeah, I mean, you're very protective. I mean, you see the lions in front of the angel there. Mm -hmm. We see that worry and concern coming out. Hmm. Some of you guys are separated. Some of you guys are separated from a marriage. Hmm. Okay. There's some arguments or fights and sad news. Okay. I know that's a very specific message. That's for some of you guys. So there is this worry and concern about this marriage and healing situation going on. And you're confused about it. And or I feel like some of you guys are committed to being really worried. And you're still recovering over a past situation. So let me go further in this, guys. Okay. What's going to happen with my Libra's romantic love life for the month of July? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see.
Well, definitely you guys have the pick, right? Because you, you definitely, I do feel like there's a lot of people that want your attention. But you're concerned about making any abrupt decisions um, because of some issues from the past. So you're needing some time to think about it. Yeah, because you've got a lot of choices coming in for the, the first half of July. So definitely there's a lot of people that want your attention. So let's see what's going to happen here. And going further on this, it seems like there is this sense of concern here uh, because there's still a healing energy. So that's what's causing you this confusion. So let's go to the second half of July or the middle of July here. Okay. So you are moving toward, you're seeing signs of a happy home, a happy family coming together here. And you even see with the Four Wands energy, that represents happy home and control around this. And it looks like some big changes happening here, guys. You guys also may be moving, okay, for some of you guys in the middle of the month there, because this is a home, okay, this is the journey card. So some of you guys are changing locations, moving moving a house. There's something to do with moving to another house, possibly for some of you. Um, you're making a power move because you feel like that would be more of a happy home. You're seeing signs for that for some of you guys. Some of you guys are moving t closer to the seashore or water, okay? For some of you guys, I know it's a very specific message. Um, others of you, you're gaining more control over your situation and you're feeling very happy about uh, this the stable connection, you're, you're forming a stable connection, there's big changes, you're seeing signs of these big changes. We see that you're about to make some kind of decision to stand up and fight or walk away from these defeated energies and to focus on your happiness and to contemplate these big changes that you're seeing. Yeah, we see travel, movement or changes end, so you're moving somewhere Okay, or there's some kind of movement happening and we see that the movement or changes end and now you're seeing these big changes that make you very happy because of this decision to end this defeated energy here and to focus on this happy family, this happy home. But definitely you have chosen someone here because we see that there is a, I want to have this happy family. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a happiness around this situation. You may have children with this person, okay? Or you're decided, hey, you know what? Let's come together. I feel like, you know, this is gonna be the best connection for me. So let's go further here. So now we see at the end of July, there is this burden and responsibility or you're taking on more burden and responsibility. There's this very nurturing, supportive energy. I wanna take away this burden and responsibility. There's a victory here. There's luck on your side. There's a decision that's being made and this person's apologizing here. This person's trying to be strategic and speaking their truth. There's a lot of communication and a lot of passionate energy here and a lot of intimate time you're gonna spend with this person. Okay, mm-hmm, okay. Okay, so. Strength, courage, and confidence towards a happy home because of this strategic energy to speak this truth. All right, so there is people here involved with your situation. Could be friends, family, or other choices. There's a power move to be made here towards you. I wanna be nurturing and supportive. Let's cut away these unhealthy things from the past. I know there's a lot of indecisions, but let's make a decision on this. I've really thought about this. You really make me happy, and I want to communicate these things with you. So I feel like this is a person that you may have been distant from or distanced yourself or you separated yourself from, okay? So let's go down further here. Libra. So there is this concern about this travel, this movement, and this change, but we see there's a victory in a marriage or commitment that ended with a person. There is this healing energy and huge changes because of this intimate time that was spent together. There is this very cautious energy about this happy home because of burdens and responsibilities 
There was slow walking going on in this defeated energy. This person came forward and is apologizing to you. You were confused about this situation, Seven of Cups energy, and you did a lot of deep, heavy soul searching. And we see there was a passionate action that was taken. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. All right, let me get some more information for you guys. All right. Let me uh, have also another understanding or more information about Libra's romantic love life for the month of July. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, yes, it is to do with somebody that you walked away from or they walked away from you and there was this broken heart. But there is this strong attachment here with this person and you see that there is courage, strength, or confidence. This person is thinking about you, is thinking about you to bring things into balance. You knew in your intuition though, um, we see that you hung out, you spent some time together and you argued the point about this trapped energy, the stuck energy because of the feelings here, the heart. And it brought things into balance and opened things up for healing and happiness. And there was uh, some things that were brought up uh, which caused some issues. Um, it seems like some fighting, arguing, or some challenges around this healing situation, but it does look like you manifested what you wanted there. There is still the sense of desire and wanting to like put barriers in place here. And a lot of thinking and contemplating about, okay, can we have this accomplishment? Can we have this completion of this situation? But there is a victory here. So there's a lot of thinking about it and a victory here. So it definitely looks like somebody you are distant from, it looks like it's gonna come back together, okay? So let's now move into your career and finance here, Libra. What's gonna happen my Libra's career and finance for the month of July? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see here. So you're definitely going to assert yourself here and you're going to do things that you feel passionate about to gain control of the situation. Um, you are speculating some things, you're risking some things here, but may cause some issues at the workplace or your career in finance, but the risk could gain you more status here. You feel it in your intuition here that this is gonna give you a boost. There is some indecisions though about this choice. Okay, so let's go further on this Libra. What's gonna happen Libra's career and finance for July? Show me the to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Mm, so the reason why you're gonna assert yourself actually for the first half of July is because you feel a little bit trapped in the energy there. Let me just lay down these cards here. Yeah, things are gonna go in your favor though. Judgment card's there. Yeah, there's gonna be some changes there with the Five of Swords being there. Five of Swords can be seen in a couple different ways. It's like you were defeated around this trapped energy, but then things ruled in your favor. It was just like, you know what, hey, you asserted yourself and, and allow things to come in, together in your favor. I want to get more information about this. Okay, yes, we see a stable situation there at the bottom of the deck. What's going to happen to Libra? Career and finance for the month of July. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yep, you're going to make a power move. Emperor card energy. Because you're concerned about some kind of loss. Loss of power. Yeah, the loss ends. Because you took control of the situation, the loss will end. Because mm -hmm. you asserted yourself. You were able to overcome this trapped energy. Mm -hmm. And this defeated energy. Yep, stable, planning, thinking, contemplating. Yep. So yes, you, in the middle of the month here, it just looks like you're gonna follow your passions.
there is this commitment here to this sudden wealth and attention. And this politics that you're playing, you're, you're definitely getting this attention. Some, some of you guys are getting involved with politics. There's a contract or commitment here. Um, others of you, it seems like there is this sudden jackpot here for you guys. Yeah, lots of attention you're getting. It seems to also be a theme with some of the signs as well. Um, interesting. Also, if you guys are Sun, Moon, Rising, Leo, you may want to check out that reading as well. Okay, so there's this contract coming in here. Something that you felt passionate about, definitely something that you feel is very appealing. Um, it's going to bring some lots of abundance for you guys, and it's going to be sudden here. We see that by the end of July, you're having a little bit of concerns about this commitment because you don't feel like you're getting an equal amount of money here. And uh, you're kind of feeling like you are making some kind of sacrifice or you feel like you're sacrificing, you're feeling a little bit stuck because you have to wait. And so you're trying to gain more control around the situation here. Okay, so let's bring this all together. There is, you're asserting yourself when it comes to your passions to gain control around the situation in the month of July. You're trying to take control of this and it does bring you this sudden wealth here, a sudden abundance, but there is concerns about some kind of loss of attention in this contract and an ending of this situation or taking a break from a person because having to wait for the right time. This expectation cards can be like a two or three month wait. So we see there's this, my hands are tied in this contract commitment. Um, I'm trying to give to this. I wanna make sure there's an equal give and take. Things are ruling in my favor, right? Things are ruling in your favor here because you are playing politics here. You're taking some risks here and you're a little bit defeated about that, but you are getting attention or recognition, but you're having to make sacrifices for it. All right, let's get some more information here, Libra. Can I have some more information for my Libra's career and finance for the month of July? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so yes, you have some growth coming in and prosperity for you guys, and it looks very helpful. You are expanding further than you thought. You are giving yourself some time to think about this and you're concerned about the intentions of the situation. There's a little bit of a risk involved with this and you're trying to stay grounded in this and trusting that things are gonna work out. You are thinking and contemplating about this abundance and how to bring things into balance. Yeah, because you're trying to be a little bit more discerning about it. All right, my beautiful Libras, let me change up camera views here. So let's take a look at your health and wellness. What's going on with my Libra's health and wellness for the month of July? Show me the cards you can see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh, you're not the only sign that said laughter is the best medicine this month. Stay positive, guys. And call upon Archangel Raphael for help. Okay, so prayers will help in this situation. Just try to stay positive because it's not as bad as you think it is, okay? This shall soon pass. Don't let it stress you out, okay? All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another date or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.